We are demonstrating our KXL Creator application. The previous way to edit a macro was to leave Key Creator and open a Notepad application. With KXL Creator, this can be done without leaving Key Creator. As you start creating a macro, you can see that the text starts auto formatting and placement. As you type, the function list appears for reference. If you are unsure of the function syntax, you can hover your mouse over the function. This will display a quick description and the syntax. KXL Creator has the ability to have several macros open at one time. Each tab has the macro name displayed. KXL Creator has the ability to detect all labels of your macro. By selecting the label drop-down list, you can quickly jump to that label. KXL Creator has the ability to run or debug the macro inside of Key Creator. You can see Key Creator is actually running the macro. Upon completion of the macro in Key Creator, functionality returns to KXL Creator and displays the status in the output section of KXL Creator. In this case, there were no errors. Now let's demonstrate what happens if there are errors in a macro. KXL Creator indicates the error with a red marker and highlighted line. It also displays the complete error in the output section for reference. The application also has the ability to create and edit the associated text file for the macro. Key Creator uses the text file to display the hover and status bar text for the macro. The application has several ways to generate macro code. You can select the function drop-down box to insert an entire line of code, or you can use the toolbox function. The toolbox groups functions together or you can use the user-defined routines. User-defined routines are snippets of code that you commonly use. This allows you to quickly generate whole sections of code without having to hunt, copy, and paste. You can edit those routines or customize them to use later. At any time, you can open the Key Creator help file from within KXL Creator. For quicker help for a particular function, you can highlight it, then right-click and select Find in Help. The application has the ability to open files that are defined in your macro. Simply highlight them, then right-click and select Open File in New Tab. Under Tools, User Dialog, you can see the application has the ability to create and save custom dialog boxes. Simply select the item from the toolbox and it places it in the dialog. You can drag and drop it wherever you want. The properties for each item you place in the dialog are in the Control Properties section. By selecting each item, you can see the control properties change. If you change the control properties, the dialog changes as well. To save your dialog to edit later, simply select File, Save Dialog. You must close the dialog before you can create a new dialog or open an existing dialog. This allows you to continually improve or change your dialogues in a graphical format instead of by code when you're done editing or creating your dialog. You can output your dialog into your macro. This generates the many lines of code required for a proper functioning dialog. Once your macro has been completed and debugged with no errors, you can simply encrypt your macro by clicking Tools and Encrypt. 
This generates a KXE, which is an encrypted macro that your users cannot edit. This process has usually been awkward and problematic since the files are required to be in a certain directory and the encryption process ran from a command prompt. The location of your encrypted macro is displayed in the output section at the bottom of the KXL Creator. All options for KXL Creator are in Tools, Options, where you have the ability to change colors, fonts, and the version of Key Creator that the application uses, as well as settings for autosave and backups of your macros during editing.